Silva shareholder with a quick video. I wanted to speak with everyone with the prices being as low as they are and low for an extended period of time. More than what we could just refer to as a dip or a buying opportunity or a pullback. Uh, we've seen an extended period of low prices and declining prices. And with that, I think we've seen sentiment very low, uh, especially in the general investing public. Um, for a while with the really high prices when we were reaching all-time highs, I was seeing silver in the newspapers, on the news, on some of the investment programs. And the general sentiment is basically gone at this point. Um, with the big investors, it seems like you see a lot of piling on. So when things are going high, they all get in on it and there's a rush to get in. And it gets a lot of publicity and uh, piling on. And with it being low, you either see no mention at all of it or uh, you see people talking about shorting it or selling it or that it's going to go lower. Um, and we've also seen, I'm sure, some uh, negative sentiment in the silver community, but most of us recognize it as the buying opportunity that it is and uh, continue to invest. And with that, I just wanted to say that these are the times that winners are made. And when I say that, what I'm referring to is uh, silver products that are made right now. I think we're going to see a lot of the real major gains are going to be in pieces that are put out now, um, either in 2014, 2015. And I'm going to be watching a lot of the lower production coins um, and the unique issue coins uh, that change design from year to year. So I'm thinking these are going to be really good times for the Kookaburra, for the Panda, um, maybe for the Britannia. I'd like to get your opinion on what you think that the, uh, the products to buy are right now and which ones are going to do really well and gain in the premiums. I myself usually stay away from the extremely high premium products. So I'm talking about coins that are sold as bullion plus you know, bullion plus five, those type of things. Um, not the $100 an ounce coins, although some of those might do really well now as well. So um, those aren't really what I'm watching in particular, but I'd like to get your thoughts on what you think the real winners are going to be. And I do think this is the time where the winners are going to be made. So some of these uh, higher premium coins, you're going to see a lower than normal premium. Um, on the coins that are minted to certain mintage numbers. So the coins with 100,000 mintage or a half a million mintage. In order to move those, they're probably going to be lowering the premiums on them. And with the other coins that are mint to demand, you're probably going to see these as being really low mintage years. Um, I know there's a rush to buy when the price is low, but I think we're going to see that pass with the continued low prices. Um, and you're going to start to see mintage numbers dropping off with the lower demand. So I think these are going to be years that you see an opportunity to buy at great prices and also an opportunity to buy coins that are going to gain tremendous premiums as the years go on due to lower mintages from the lack of buyer sentiment right now. So if you're buying kookaburras, you're buying pandas in the future when silver is hitting record highs, um, these coins that you're buying right now for 2014, 2015, I think are going to command huge premiums. And uh, if you're buying now, you're ahead of the curve. So we'll see mintage numbers increase as the price increases. And uh, right now, I think we're going to be seeing some declining mintage numbers as well as declining premiums. And just leave your comments. Let me know what you think are going to be the winners as far as... Uh, which coins, which uh, bullion products, whatever it may be. But this is the time winners are made. Get in on those low mintage limited edition coins and uh, keep stacking. Thanks for watching.